Hi everyone, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my 22 week pregnancy update. I'm so excited about this video because so many new and exciting things have happened, including my ultrasound to find out the gender. So I'm just so excited to fill you guys in on everything that's been happening. I think I found my new favorite filming spot. I'm sitting right in front of our fireplace that's going and I'm sitting on my bouncy exercise ball that I bought for this pregnancy. I will try my best to not bounce during this video, but it's so fun. Anyway, let's get right into this. So I am now 22 weeks pregnant and the baby is about the size of a spaghetti squash. I think it's about 12 ounces. I had my ultrasound and that's what they estimated the baby to weigh. I haven't weighed myself in about a week, but a week ago I weighed 170 pounds, so I've gained about 30 pounds in total over this pregnancy. It seems about right. I've, I've gained about half the weight that I gained with Sophia's pregnancy and I'm halfway through my pregnancy, so I mean, that seems about right. I seem to be gaining it a little faster, but my body just kind of knows what to do this time around and it's like, okay, let's just gain all the weight right now. Now, let's get on with the really exciting stuff. We had our ultrasound. We had our ultrasound right before I turned 21 weeks pregnant and we wanted to find out personally if it was twins because I've been for some reason just freaking out about that and I, we also wanted to find out the gender. So it is not twins and I am like extremely, extremely relieved because there's going to be such a small age gap between Sophia and this next baby that if it was twins, I, I don't know what I would do. It would be, it would be craziness. And during this whole pregnancy, I've had the strongest feeling that this is a boy. With Sophia's pregnancy, I had no idea at all what I thought it was, but this, with this one, pretty much as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I was like, I bet this is a boy. And I had, I had just this really strong feeling. And I was right, it is a boy. It was actually a pretty long ultrasound. It took a while to find out what he was, but I went into the ultrasound with a full bladder because that's what you're supposed to do. And he was just, it seemed like he was tipped forward too far and he wouldn't like, like he was really wiggly, but he just wouldn't move in the right position. So I actually went and I emptied my bladder because we had been trying for like half an hour to find out what he was. I went and I went to the bathroom, emptied my bladder and I came back and he was in like in the perfect position. We saw right away, it was like without shadow of a doubt, it, it was a boy. <laughs> With Sophia, they weren't able to tell me like 100% because you know, girls, it's never like 100% sure but with boys they can be like 100% sure. So she measured, took all the measurements, and made sure he was the right size. It looks like I'm right on track for my beginning of March due date. He's looking perfectly healthy. Everything's looking like right exactly as it should be so I'm just super excited about that. There was one thing that was a little bit concerning at first is that my placenta is a little bit low. It's kind of close to my cervix. It's not close enough to be considered placenta previa. I think it's called placenta previa. You guys know what I mean. It's not that. It's within two or three centimeters and it should, because as you get further into your pregnancy it moves like up the back of your uterus, so it should be like way, way out of the way by the time I go into labor. Right now it's within two or three centimeters. It has to be within two and a half centimeters by the end of your pregnancy to have a vaginal birth. And it has to be within three and a half centimeters by the end to have a home birth. So I should be way in the clear. My midwife didn't even think I needed to have another ultrasound to check because unless I start spotting, it's just gonna, it's gonna move up and it's gonna be fine. But she said if I start spotting to call her right away. We went to my midwife appointment right after the ultrasound so I got to talk to her about all this because I was a little bit concerned, <laughs> understandably. But she was explaining that the reason, the reason that you could spot if this is going on is because the surface of your cervix and around it is different than the surface on the rest of your uterus. So when the placenta tries to attach right there, it doesn't attach properly. And then if you bump it, like you lift something that's too heavy or you're just really active, it could bump it and like rip it off. And then that would cause spotting. We talked about it for a long time at my appointment and it sounds like I should be totally in the clear unless I start spotting. So that's that. So I have a, I have a picture here of what she was talking about. So my placenta is here, my vaginal canal is here, the bladder is right here, and the baby's right here. I don't know how she can tell what is going on in this picture because it all looks blurry to me and like, I don't know. They're amazing at telling what's going on in ultrasounds because I have But you can see that my placenta and my vaginal canal are pretty close. The midwife said that was like two or three centimeters, so yeah. But I had the ultrasound tech print off a picture of that so that I could show my midwife. 
But here's a picture of the little baby's feet. It's so cute. And here's a profile. You can see the baby's face right here. There's another profile, just more zoomed in. There's the face right there. And then there's the one where they could tell that it was a boy. That's actually the umbilical cord right there. I thought that was really cool that I could see the umbilical cord. Here's the one where they got the heartbeat. And she wrote down 12 ounces um, for the baby's weight, but it got, got kind of smudged. And then here's one of the front of the baby's face. You can see right, right here, front of the baby's face. So cute. So it was just super fun to be able to see the baby moving around in the ultrasound. Luke actually wasn't able to go to Sophia's ultrasound. And so I was so, so excited that he got to come see this one at least. We probably won't get ultrasounds for any of our future kids. I don't think we're gonna find out the gender for any after this because now we have a boy and a girl. We'll have all the supplies and clothes for each one. So there's really no reason to. I think even if this one was a girl, we probably would stop finding out and just have a few surprise when they're born because that, that would be really fun too. But I did want to know for this one because it's a boy, I wanted to have a baby shower and get all my stuff ready because I like to be prepared. The other thing my midwife was saying was that he is sitting so low and I've, I've been noticing this lately that he's just like sitting down there way at the bottom like just this big boy that's like a rock falling to the bottom of the pool. He, he's got like so much space in the top of my stomach. My midwife was saying like how squishy the top of my uterus feels because it's just like all of him is in the bottom and it's so uncomfortable. It feels like he's always sitting on my cervix and I wish he would move up a little bit because I'm like Sophia was really high in my uterus for her pregnancy and she would always kick me on the right side in my ribs and he always kicks like way really down low and so then I feel awkward having anyone like feel him kick because it's like way down there. The other really funny thing during the ultrasound was that he had his hand up by his head. I think it was it was his left hand, I think. But he just had his hand up next to his head the entire time and he was just rubbing his head. And the hilarious thing was that my little brother did this too. My mom had me first and then she had a boy, my brother. And every time she went in for an ultrasound, he had his hand up next to his head, rubbing his head, and he came out with his hand next to his head. And so I thought it was just such a funny coincidence that my second child is a boy and he had his hand up next to his head the entire ultrasound. And I really hope that he's not born with it like that because I've heard that's not very fun. <laughs> but I can pretty much feel him all the time now. He's either kicking and moving around or he likes to do this big stretch where I can like feel his whole body across the bottom of my uterus and that's just really, really so fun when you can finally start to feel them moving. Knowing what the gender is now and, and actually seeing him on, on the ultrasound I'm like feeling him so much now. It's like really starting to feel real and I'm just getting so, so excited to hold a little tiny newborn again and, and to breastfeed again. And yeah, just trying to get prepared as I can because I'm like over halfway there. It's like a little bit scary. So now I'll show you the bump. So I have on my favorite, favorite pregnancy outfit, just a plaid shirt over like a, a thermal long sleeve shirt and my maternity pants. But I'm definitely getting bigger and I'm definitely carrying very low. Like all this up here is like squishy and he's like right down here, like, like a little rock. Like right here feels like really hard and I can tell like that's, like that's his back right there. But definitely getting bigger. My belly button's starting to stick out a lot more. Like with Sophia, I was like carrying so much higher. Like, but it's just so funny to see the difference in each of my pregnancies. So yeah, that's that. As you guys already know, I absolutely love having a bump and then you can like actually tell that I'm like, I'm pretty pregnant. I think that's all for this video. I just am so excited that we like know the gender and that everything's going so well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.